Hello my YouTube family. <laughs> I feel like it's been so long since I made a video and I have been finding the inspiration starting to bubble. But at the same time as the inspiration bubbles, I also am being hit with this resistance. And I'm really starting to look at all of it and figure just why not turn on the camera and let it just like all unfold for me to see it and then everybody to see it with me. Because there's been so much change that's happening over here and I don't even know where to begin. I don't know where to start. I feel I haven't even made a video in six months and everything is completely transformed. So it seems that when I try and think of it on my own, I freak myself out. Yet when I just let spirit take over, it is seemingly natural and effortless as it always should be. And so I guess the main focus is recognizing that over the last few months, um, how aware I have become of the necessary need for mind training, not just for myself, but for everyone. And even though I had gone through, you know, three years of deep mind training, as well as the last year of reading The of Course in Miracles from beginning to end, it was almost like after I went through all that, that um, deep unlocking of what was within me, that I really needed to face it all. You know, I really needed to look at everything that I dislodged over the years, over the, yeah, over the years, and especially this last year with doing the lessons every day. And so I found what really came forward the most was how ego really does speak first and, and ego speaks first and loud. And if we go along with what the ego says, we're going on a trip. <laughs> we're going on a trip that's cycling us downward and everything seems to be keeping us and holding us in the space of, um, of just fear and, and of darkness and of what we don't want. And so I have been continually reminded that yes, ego speaks loud and ego speaks first, but your function here is to be vigilant for God and also vigilant against the ego. You know, like we have to make this everyday, every single moment choice of what voice am I going to let direct my mind, my life, my being in this world? You know, that's where our power is in choosing who our teacher is. And so I, I guess I have been able to become witness of all the areas where ego was still my teacher and I have let all of what looked like seeming separate problems that I may have been going through and allowed all of those seeming separate problems to be shown to me as one big problem right and ultimately that one big problem is still the identification with self the personal the body the the idea that I am separate from God and so through this whole process of recognition, I've also been able to witness that the choice that I have made for God is still prevalent now, even if ego tries to distract me, even if ego tries to tempt me, even if ego tries to place its own ideas before God's. I am still in the position now to continually choose the voice for God, to continually choose my goal being God, to continually choose to put my mind in service to God. That is always my choice. And even though I've had many, many like awakening experiences and revelatory experiences and miraculous experiences, those experiences are still in the realm of time in past. So I can't use those to justify where I am today. Every single moment is a moment for me to choose heaven. Every single moment is a decision for me to choose God over ego. And so I've just recognized the importance of activating and using our power to choose, our power to decide. And so I feel a big part of this for me was that now that I've been going through all of this and so much has changed, it's like, where do I even begin to share? And so what voice is it that is going to freak us out in regards to sharing? It's the ego. Because when we share and we let ourselves extend, we are extending and sharing the love of God, the vision that comes from the Holy Spirit. And so when we share and when we give, we're literally activating the law of God because the law of God is giving as you would receive. And so to be in the space of giving and of sharing, Ego can't enter because ego's mentality is that of getting. Ego's mentality is that of separating, of the personal I. What can I do to make me feel better over here? Whereas the thoughts of giving are the thoughts of God. How can I serve my brothers? How can I help my brothers? How can I see my brothers in the light and in the innocence that I may know myself as light and as innocent? And so it always comes back to that for me, this very, very, very practical law. And so I guess um, the biggest shift that's happened over here for us is that when I fully was like, all right, you know, let, let's do this. Let's fully leave um, the world and, and the past and everything behind and, and jump fully and completely into God's plan in this one direction. 
It's literally like we were lifted and carried over here to have um, what seemed to us to be a vacation in California. But as soon as we arrived in beautiful California, this is now settled into our home base. We feel so called here with the people and the mountains and just everything that um, is open to possibility here. You know, everybody seems to know everybody. And it is the, the perfect platform for where we are in our life. And so now that we are in California, we have been given fully and completely what our next steps are. And our next steps are to complete our project, the Universal Mediation Program that we've been working on for the last few years that is in its final 10% of completion and then to literally give this away and to share this with the world. And so over the winter, as my ego is beating me up saying, you don't know what your part is, you don't have a part, you know, and trying to get me to listen to it. When I finally chose to, you know, firmly and completely listen to Spirit Always, here I am settled into California and every single day being given my part, every single day being told and inspired as to what to do. And so I've really, really gotten to see and experience the power of our Father's love, that when we choose to not interfere with that love, that it literally carries us and transforms us and provides for us every step of the way. Because when we let God be the one, the goal, the end, the everything, then we literally are communicating to Him as our Father. And our Father hears His children. And in that is our relationship, our whole healed perfect relationship where we get to experience heaven here, where we get to experience joy and happiness and abundance here. And so now that we settle here into California, we don't know what's happening next, except that we do know that we are going to be living here. We're in the process of looking for our home here with our friend Teddy, more so in Southern California. So maybe this is even a shout out to our brother and sister souls if you know of anything open or available. And, you know, we're just following guidance every step of the way. And so I feel now the door is open, the way is open for me to continue to share more and to recognize that any fear of, of sharing is ludicrous um, because it always comes back to the idea of what are other people going to think, what are other people going to say. And so if the thoughts are being worried about what other people are going to think or going to say, we're worried about another's ego. And do we really care what the insanity of another's ego thinks or says? I'm sure not. I'm not cared of my own ego or anybody else's because that is the illusory knot that is keeping all of us confused and, and unsettled. And so from today onward, I choose with you, beautiful souls, that we may allow ourselves to be this vessel of open communication. And if we feel the fear, do it anyway, you know, because if fear is a facade, it is a lie, it is not true. And the more we have the courage, find that courage within ourselves to literally walk through what seems to be fearful to us, we find this place of complete safety and trust and, and a beautiful life and experience here. And so I love all of you. And I guess this is the new beginning, you know, the new beginning um, of, of videos and the integration of the law of giving as you have received, you know. so. Now we are going to get to see continual miracles expanding in our lives and world, and I extend them to you. And um, so, yeah, I guess that's just what I wanted to get out for now. But I love you all, and we will see what the next video has in store. God bless you, and talk to you soon. Bye.